nearly at Art Court. Hope you don't mind me join away about my Star Citizen fee fees. <laughs> no, I've been a f I've been following this project from the very beginning, um, and I've talked about this before. But yeah, I've I've had the honor of getting to play a little bit of the music. Uh, Pedro Camacho hired me to play oboe on a track that you get to hear from time to time at Port Olisar. And uh, yeah, my hand to God, that happened. Um, I've still got the music. All right, so that is the Planet Art Corp which is kind of Star Citizen's equivalent to Coruscant. It's a giant city planet, basically. Quantum travel complete. All right. Now let me aim myself at my next destination, which is here. Oh, okay. That's orbital maneuvering satellite number four. Now my drive still has to cool down just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Quantum. Quantum travel yeah. yeah, Star Citizen, CIG has done an amazing job on just this, this star system. I mean, seriously, they really have. Um, there we go. went through the atmosphere a little bit. Alright, there it is. The Invictus Quantum travel complete. Launch Fleet. And there they are, folks. In their docks. Oh, and the music changed. I love it. Pedro did a great job on this. Yes. And all those green triangles you see are other players. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Let, let's just kind of talk about this. On my on the right lower spoke of this Navy base, this dock, that is a Javelin-class destroyer. Biggest ship in the game so far, and the biggest ship that a player can own. The ship is about, what, 600 meters in length, thereabouts? Yeah. Damn, man, I love this music. Wow. Okay. Anyway. So, I'm pointing toward it right now. That is the mighty Javelin Destroyer that, uh... A person interested in investing in Star Citizen can own for, say, oh, what, $2,000, thereabouts? Yeah. And now over here is the infamous, well, not infamous, the famous Idris-class frigate. And the Idris frigate is available for what? Uh, it was originally available for $1,100, now it's $1,500. Yeah. Look at those fireworks. This is so cool. All right, I'm going to catch up to the javelin here. I apologize if I'm talking a little bit too loud. The, the music is in, in my headset is really loud. Anyway, so this is the javelin. I'm going to fly right up close to it if I can. Hopefully they won't get angry with me. This ship, like I said, is just under a kilometer in length. This is a big... This is, this is a capital ship. And this is the first time we're getting to see it actually in the game. And my frame rates are decreased because of it. But look at that. Look at that beauty. There we go. Wow. Javelin Destroyer, ladies and gentlemen. 
biggest ship, biggest ship that a player can own in the game right now. You will not catch me buying this, but uh, look at that. I'm gonna see if I can fly across it. All right, time for an exterior view. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that giant turret. That's incredible. And all these little turrets here. Any one of those could probably ice my ship in an instant. That's awesome. That is spectacular. <laughs> That's awesome. Salute to the UEE Navy. All right, let's swing back around. Now, I don't think that I could request permission to land on this thing. I think this ship is, uh... uh there, there's another player right there. <laughs> Flying the troop ship. Is it, is it the, the Hercules? Yeah. It's... No, right. Whatever. Now, this ship is designed to carry fighter craft. There's supposed to be a hangar door. If I'm not mistaken, like around here someplace. But, no. Alright. I'm so glad I caught this. Wow. Alright, let me see if I can find... Oh, okay, is that the Idris? What do we have here? Yes, there's the Idris. Oh, wow. This is upside down. There we go. <laughs> there we go. That's the Idris right side up. Okay. Look at that. That's the Idris frigate. This was the first ship that was... Uh, this is the first ship that was... Capital ship that was offered to players. Like I said, $1,000 a pop. Let's do an exterior view here. There's the rear hangar doors right there. Let's see if I can get a little closer here. Look at that. Like I said, there are players that have been trying to, like, I think, glitch their way in or something. I don't know. Look at that. Now, in a perfect world, I wonder if I could get permission to land aboard the Idris. Let's see. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I have to... There's a glitch. I need to exit my chair and get back in. Hang on. Oh, they disappeared. Did they quantum travel out? <laughs> Hang on. They might have. They, they might have. They might have jumped out. Oh, rats! Did they leave? That's funny. They're gone. <laughs> they left. <laughs> they jumped to Microtech. Oh, well. Okay. All right. Well, cool. <laughs>